Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped hundreds of students like you to get into LSE's PPE. Now, I'm especially excited for this course because I studied the variant philosophy and economics, which we'll also be covering along with politics and economics and philosophy and politics today. Now, we have at the profs a 73% success rate. That is seven times the offer rate of 10% to the average student. And for the first time, we're going to be sharing a few of our tips on how you can increase your chances of getting in. Now, first of all, choose the right course. What makes LSE's PPE distinct is it is a four-year course. It's a year longer than the variants and other PPE courses, but that means you have more time to study and get to really understand each of the subjects. The acceptance rate is also the highest for the core course at A star AA, and you must have an A star in math Mathematics. But if you look at the variance, you can go down to three A's with an A in maths, or for philosophy and politics, three A's with no mathematical requirement. So if you're unsure of maths or don't want any maths, pick the course that will suit your interests, and you don't have to have a maths background for all of these courses. Now, tip number two is to pick the right subject blend. It's particularly important for this course because you've got both the quantitative and the qualitative element. Maths is a requirement for PPE and the two PEs. But unlike economics at LSE, it is not important to have further maths. Again, showing whilst still mathematically quite a tricky course, it's not as mathematically strenuous as the other courses. LSE also strongly want you to have a written subject. Typically, that's one of history, English, economics, and one of the social sciences, psychology, religious studies, government, philosophy. Um, it's important to have that mix, but that makes you quite limited in what you can pick. Now, I'm always asked, what is the best subject confirmation? And whilst there is no best combination of subjects, I will give the uh, most common uh, combination, which is maths, A star, economics, and history. If you're doing four subjects, you could also consider further maths, but just be careful. If you do further maths, you must, uh, at three subjects, have at least one essay subject to go with it. If you don't do further maths, I think maths, history, economics, it could also be English instead of history, and then I'd pick one of philosophy, government, politics, or religious studies as your fourth, although geography is fine. Interestingly, fun fact, if you did do philosophy, politics, and economics as your three subjects, you would not be able to apply to this course because tip number three, it's all about that maths record. You want to be saying in your personal statement that you've got an A star, that's an eight or a nine in GCSE maths, and you're on track to get an A star at A level and go further. Did you get a gold in the Maths Challenge UK? Have you done additional uh, self-study of some of those further maths topics? What problem in maths have you read about and how can you apply that to this degree? Maths is always the most important subject and you need to be focusing on that in your personal statement. Now, last night as an alumni, I was actually at LSE and talked to the head of the course for PPE. And of course I asked, what is your number one tip? And he said it's to emphasize the interdisciplinary nature of this course. That means pick a topic, a global challenge that one subject would not be able to tackle alone. Now, tip number five is related. Look at the website. There are little clues hidden all throughout LSE's website that you need to find and think, how can I use that to elevate my personal statement? I'll give you one for free now. They tell you which source of topics you will want to study. They give loads of suggestions. For example, the economic development maybe of your home country or region. 
Income inequality is another fantastic one because it naturally takes the moral philosophy, it requires politics to implement and economics to decide the resources we need. If you can go specific, that's how you get in. Talk about the Gini coefficient, talk about the Lorenz curve, talk about how we can use the combination of the subjects to get us in. That's how to stand out. And it comes straight from LSE themselves. Why do you need four years and three subjects to tackle something really ambitious? My next tip is to think about your other course choices. This has become much easier over the years as PP is now a very common course. It used to only be offered by Oxford and a few others. Most people applying for LSE PPE will also be applying for Oxford PPE, very likely UCL PPE, and then Warwick and another choice. Top tip is consider applying to LSE twice. I don't usually recommend two courses at the same university, but given that PPE has a higher grade requirement than say PP or possibly PE, you could put down LSE twice as long as you're very confident of getting those three A's. If you're not, please pick a course with A, A, B to make sure that you do get at least one offer without having to go through clearing. Now, before I go through a few more tips, this is just a small selection of over 58 tips that we have for this course. I'll talk at the end of the video on how you can work closely with someone like myself or an ex admission staff to boost your chances of how to get in. Next up, it's really important to talk to your referee. A lot of people don't realize that the reference is looked at before your personal statement. Meaning if your reference isn't very good, you might get a level one rejection. They might not even read that personal statement that you're gonna be putting hours into writing. I also strongly recommend talking to a maths teacher. If they're not your reference, make sure your referee talks to them and can quote what percentage you were in your cohort. If you're in the top 5%, if you're in the top 10%, the top of your class, the top of year or year, the best student they've ever had, all of these things will massively help signal to LSE that you are the right candidate over the thousands of others that apply. So make sure you talk to referee. In fact, LSE have a guide for references. So particularly if your school doesn't send many to LSE or maybe even many to the UK, do please make sure your referee looks at the guide for applications and we'll link that in the description below also. Now that's just a really small number of tips on how to get into LSE's PPE course. If you would like to hear more from us, we have loads more videos on all of the variants and all of those courses mentioned in this video. If you have a question, please do comment. I make sure to get back to every comment that is left here because we want to help you however we can. We've also for LSE got an amazing exemplar personal statement that I've written, which will give you all of our five point plan in our how to smash your personal statement video. And of course, please like and subscribe. It really helps us to keep on producing more content to help you out. Lastly, if you'd like to work with an ex-admissions professional or professional consultant such as myself or my amazing team, please do contact us using the description on screen now and also below. Most importantly, best of luck.